Jalen Johnson is a free safety with the Chicago Bears. Pardon me for looking this way again, but I got to read the thing. And it says on Trey Lance, we made him play quarterback. I'll just <laughs> stop reading right there. Like, does anything matter after the first sentence of we made him play quarterback? Like, all right, guys, what was the defensive game plan to beat the San Francisco 49ers? Make Trey Lance play quarterback. <laughs> Make him play his position. <laughs> Perfect. Now, Brilliant defensive philosophy. It's, it now, worked. I don't know why you take a shot at a kid like that, because Trey Lance is a kid. He hasn't played yet, so it's an uncalled-for shot. But I love it because it shows you the mindset of what every team's going to think, and that is the weakness right now of the San Francisco 49ers. And I want to be fair. That game was played in a monsoon. Yeah. It's probably not indicative of how good or bad Trey Lance is going to be as a pro. So I think that's, that's a fair assessment Justin of what happened Sunday. Good. Fields look mm-hmm. good, especially in the second half where he threw yeah. two touchdown passes. And he was able to overcome the elements. So that's fair. But, yeah, like, so Jalen Johnson taking a shot. And here's what happens with that. San Francisco fans agree with it. Mm-hmm. And the more they hear that from other players, like, if a guy on TV or radio says it, it's just a guy with an opinion. Yeah. When it's a guy that was in the room as they're game planning for your team telling you the game plan was keep your fingers crossed that Trey Lance has to throw the ball, <laughs> That all that does is make the noise about bringing Jimmy G back on the field louder and louder and louder. And I think it also shortens the rope that San Francisco is going to give Trey Lance to really be their franchise quarterback. Which is kind of unfortunate. I mean, the guy's young. Like you said, he's a kid. But with Justin Fields performing the way it is, is this kind of a little heightened because how well Justin Fields played? Well, I don't want to say Justin Fields didn't play like Dan Marino. No, but the second he half, just, he put something together. He played better than Trey Lance. That, and that's it. Like, that, I don't want that to, is, yeah, it, yeah. He played better. Though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to make it seem like, you know, we just saw, you know, the second coming of, you know. Joe Montaigne. Yeah. No. Right, yeah. right. You know, right. Good that. actor and quarterback. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> um, but, no, I think the, the side of it is this is where the idea to keep Jimmy G on San Fran's roster was a terrible decision. Because- or a brilliant decision, right? So if Trey Lance goes down this road where, you know, they lose three games in a row and I don't think they will – but if that happens, keeping Jimmy G there to now save your season becomes maybe one of the all-time brilliant front office moves in the NFL. Well, it seems like based on keeping Jimmy G, you're just making Trey Lance an easy target. This, if, if Jimmy G's not in that, you know, on the sideline right now, does this tweet ever get posted? Yeah, I think so, because Jalen Johnson was probably asked the question about you know, what was the game plan? Or you know, break it down. Mm-hmm. Like, all these guys talk a million, to a million people. So yeah, I don't, I, don't think, I don't think it was malicious in his no. comments. It was just it was one of those things, like, everyone says it. Like, uh, you know what? Let, uh, we had that with Mangini. He, okay. We were playing Green Bay. And he was like, just let Brett Favre mess it up. Like, he'll throw right. interceptions. And I so, like, that. like, that's what you're – this is 06. And it was like, just let him mess up the game, like, as long as we stay focused and do what we got to do. So, there's that messaging, like, hey, listen, if we just make him pass or we need to do – or just make him run. Like, th- these things happen. But I think it still goes back to me, like, is it the front office of San Fran saving face that they, you know, spend all this capital, draft Trey Lance, and now have to make him work, which you can do if you let go of Jimmy G. But keeping Jimmy G, now Trey is always – one eye over his shoulder, That's like, true. is he coming? And Jim G's sitting there like, hey, listen, I can win this game. You know, I think the problem is also if there weren't expectations of making a Super Bowl run, I think it's a little different. I think it would have been easier also mm-hmm. to discard Jimmy G in some capacity. I think, you know, if they were rebuilding, if, hey, we just got our first-round draft pick and it's Trey Lance or bust, like a lot of teams do, with a, with a high uh, draft pick at quarterback, I think it's one thing. This is a fan base and a franchise that rightfully so thinks we have enough talent to make a run to you know, Arizona mm-hmm. and the Super Bowl. And when you lose a game to a team that you have no business losing to, all due respect to how well Justin Fields did play in that second half, yeah, having Jimmy G ain't a bad backup plan. And while they may fall into – A great decision. I do agree with you guys in that it wasn't a smart decision to do it in this manner when they first did it. 
If you're going with Trey Lance, you got to get rid of Jimmy G. Mm -hmm. But now that we're sitting at 0-1 and you're questioning how good is Trey Lance and other players are telling you our entire game plan was just let that guy play quarterback (laughs) and we'll win – yeah, all of a sudden, that clock starts on tick-tock, 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 which is just a fast clock. Right. And that's that, how I was doing that. Very fast. fast. I, was going, I was trying for a, a fast clock sound effect there. Tick-tock, 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 tick like that. That's <laughs> fine. Is that how clocks work? Well, don't clocks go tick-tock, tick, right? It's not exactly not like that. <laughs> Rolexes do not go tick-tock, but who here has got a Rolex? Not me. Hey there, thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.